all righty, folks. Well, we got. Hey, Amelia, how's it going? You ready? I got. I came up with a new plan. You ready? Yeah, it's here. We're gonna multitask. So instead of you sitting here waiting for me to fill this, I should fill you up. Okay. And you and Pop Beefcake can go just work on dumping. Okay. And what you should do is dump the furthest load first, because otherwise you're gonna have to back go over, over your hill, your dirt hill. Okay, we're filling hill the trenches today. So by the deer camp camper thing, okay. there's a washout. I think he knows where it's at. So if you're, if you're standing where the camper is, and we could always go buzz down there, but if you're standing where the camper is, it's to your right. I mean, it's a cliff. Like if you just start walking the bank, you'll see, oh my, why? Why she's like that. So <laughs> there's a cliff, we need to build a terrace in front of it. So what I'm thinking is I can get this dirt for you, okay. load you up, you guys could head down there. I can fill the trenches that Pop Beefcake, he's driving, right now we have a robotic packer. Like it's remote, I'll show you, Pop Beefcake, I said, hey, Go get, go get a little soil conditioner, Harley rake thing. He comes back with a robotic packer. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how this thing does, if it works, if it doesn't work. Like literally it's just remote control. So I think I can load you up here. That way you, you guys can get something done while I'm getting something done yeah. instead of you guys sitting here and, I'm, and then I'm sitting here. So we can take this dirt, we can load it up and then you'll take it to and dump it where we want the berm. Okay. Then you might need to go a little bit further and try to find a way to flip around. So you don't have to back all the way up because that would be tough. Flip around somewhere, come back. I'll, by that time, I think I should be about done with this. Okay. Then I can load you up again. Then you go down, dump it where the rock washout is. You dump that, I can spread that, and then I can go and spread the first load that you dumped. Okay. While I'm spreading that, you can head back up. Then I'll come up with the skid loader and we'll get the Harley rake, and then we'll spread it and pack it. So for that first dump. Yeah, you want me to go show you? I can't, well, it's kind of hard. He knows where it's at. I yeah, he should down. know where it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I spin around, back up, and dump it right there? I would dump your dump it and then spin. Okay. You're, you're gonna be too heavy okay. with, with it. So get rid of all the dirt and then try to go spin around somewhere. Okay. And you'll just have to you'll just have to kind of figure out where where to put that. So if you guys didn't pick up what we're doing today, we're we're trying to fix the trail that goes to the pond, the cabin pond. Uh, our trails, well, right here actually ain't bad. I'll show you some of our trails are. They just, they, I mean, they have washouts, they got ruts from us using it. It's just, it's just part of it. And so I want to fix it. Like, as you guys know, we're trying to sell this place at some point. I want to make sure the roads look nice. Make sure they're like, this is a nice road. We can come in here, mow this, looks fine. But there's some wash, I'll show you Pop Beefcake. He's, he might be trying to pack some stuff around. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. He literally a, a remote control packer. I didn't even know it was a thing. He just, he came home with us. All right, well, we'll give her a try, uh, but we're going to just try to, to groom and smooth the trails best we can like said, so we're not going to try to you know basically put the afternoon into it whatever we get done but look at this i, I know camera's deceiving but you, there's a big high side washout all that needs to be filled you can see they put rock there at one point because there's so much so i think this dirt so we've got the mud pit right not really a mud pit we didn't we haven't got much rain and it's not holding much water i think i i failed at my mud pit but all that dirt you can see all the dirt that's burned up we can use that so i'm going to take this dirt and try to fill this so it's level Okay, pack it in. That's what this packer's for us to pack that in. And then like I said, we got a Harley rake. If you guys don't know what that is, you'll see in a minute. Uh, it's a soil conditioner. It's like a big, it's like a tiller mixed with like, a, I don't know what it is, but it should help kind of smooth and groom this. Like there's, there's some nasty ruts. We just got to fix all these ruts. But this, look at this thing. It's remote control. It's like, it's literally remote control. Is it going to flip? No? I've never seen anything like it. Look at it. I've never seen anything like it. Is it working good? Awesome. How do you drive it? It's heavy. It's joystick. It's smart enough to know if I get off the way, if I turn this way. Yeah. It knows I'm not looking at it. And it won't go. No. And if it gets really? if it gets too close to me. It won't it won't run you over. It won't run you over. That's good, I like if that. I get to the side of it, you gotta be behind it quite a ways. Yeah, it can't hurt anybody. So we'll try using that. Once once we get the new dirt, something to pack it. Yes, you can pack with this skid loader, but see your problem is, your skid loader is only gonna be able to pack right there and right there. And if we put dirt in the middle, unless the, unless you put the skid loader on the other side, what, what's it doing? Vibrating. Oh wait, oh, that's packing. Oh, it's got a vibration mode. My feet are, why are my feet tingling? This is weird. Oh yeah, this thing gets shaking that ass. We got a packer just to make sure that we can pack where we need to pack it. The skid loader might not be able to pack 
everywhere. Like I said, you, you know, you're gonna have your tracks, but the middle might need to be packed too. So we got the packer. I don't know, maybe it's not worth anything. It's kind of cool though. I want to drive that sucker. So anyways, uh, you guys don't understand maybe fully what we're doing today or where we're, I know Nate and I were mumbo jumbling around. Long story short, we're fixing the roads. You guys stay tuned. Alrighty. I'm gonna load Nate up, get his trailer full. I would go show you guys everywhere we're talking about, but you'll see it, you'll just have to stay tuned as far as where we're at. I don't have a side-by-side -side down here, so it's gonna take me a while to drive around and show you. I'll just show you as I do it, ladies and gentlemen, so stay tuned on that. But I'm gonna try to get some dirt in here. Oh, rip. Try not to have another incident. You guys know what I'm talking about. I completely crunched the bumper of my truck. Last time I loaded dirt into this trailer, so I'll try to not do that this time. up to like two feet. for me while they go do that fix this section of the road this is probably the worst part in this area it gets worse down there but one of the worst parts is right here so let's get to fix it
direction works good because the only parts I really need to pack are the actual like ruts, which is where the skid loader tracks go. So that works out pretty good actually. The hard part is I didn't get in the dirt in those tracks. See, I keep putting it up on the hill and that makes it a little tougher, but once I get it full, run it over like that, pack it in. I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't think well, if there's any way to really win this war. You're just gonna have to keep dragging dirt back and forth, back and forth, until it grades out like that. Call it a day. I mean, that wasn't bad. I only gotta do that about 79 more times. Maybe 69, we'll see. I just don't like how wet it was. It was like straight up mud. God dang, son. This is some wet, heavy freaking dirt. Yeesh. I might do the old, wow. I might do the old nose dive here, son. Yeah, if that, if that hill was any steeper, I might be dead. Wow, this is heavy. This is a dense, dense load. Is, is 
gonna be my best friend right now.
six, and it's like one. We should be all right. I'm sure they got that load dump and they can't get out. That looks fine. I'll fix I could fix it when I come back. We'll come, we'll, we'll come back. Just yeah, we're going to the next spot. Oh god, it's freaking hotter than hell out here. Alright. We're gonna go see where the boys are. Um I'm guessing they have it dumped. I might need to spread it in order to get them out of here. So stay tuned. Okay. Oh, so yeah, it looks like they're gonna pull that out. So I think we're we're done with the truck now. Truck and trailer, they're good Good to head back home. Should be, should be good. Good? Good. I think you're you're good as far as the truck goes. You can go park her up top. Yeah, you can go park her up top. Leave the trailer hooked up just in case we okay. need it, but you can just go throw it up top. Kind of out good. of the way. Sounds okay, good. all right, see ya. Uh, hang on, Lucy's under your trailer. Lucy, come here. Hey. All right, you're good. Did come you know? here, come here, go lay down. Look at you. I thought I, I, thought I had a yellow lab, not a chocolate lab. Yeah, you guys are look covered in mud. You give both of them a bath. Yeah, this is shoot. We might need some here too. Uh, I don't. Know, we might. We might take up all day just to get this thing fixed. I just want to get the rough. Yeah, this. That looks good. Yeah, we used the dump on the trailer. Did it work? Yeah, that makes it easy to spread. A lot it's easier. A light on the top, but... It's fine. I'll just push it this way. So we just got to see there's there's rock right here. There's it's already been a problem. So we just got to fill that in. We might have to add a rock some other time, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out 
and then probably i'll probably go build the berm i'll show you the berm the berm's just right around the corner they dumped another load there i'll go so i'll build it now that i'm here i'll build the berm whatever and then i'll go back finish the road i initially started on go switch to the harley rake come all the way back down here go down to the cabin i'll show you what we're gonna do with the harley rake and we should be good to go Try back dragging first. There's a little wet. Not awful, but I think they got a little too much dirt at the base. It's alright, I can fix it. Scoop her up. That wet, wet dirt's not fun to go up uphill with. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I don't think we need the dirt right here. I just realized this camera overheated, so you probably didn't see a lot on the last round of uh, work. The GoPro selfie got it. The camera's overheating, it's that hot. But this is where they dumped that first load of rock. Here is the cliff we're trying to stop from doing. Wow. I mean, Lucy, do not fall down there. This section is new. That Hey, Millie, I ain't rescuing your fat ass so you'd fall down there. Lucy, no. This hole is new. All that grass, that was not like that. It was way over there. So just in the last, I don't know, I haven't been over here in maybe four or five months since deer season. This is new. Anywhere with this grass, this is all new. It's all sinking in. What's happening is it's eating its way up to that road. So eventually there won't be a road. And that is a lot of fill. So we're not going to try filling it in. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to take that dirt. This is where it's pushing back the fastest. Ideally, you want to build a berm around this whole thing. We, we don't have time today. We can do that some other time. We don't have time today. So we're going to build. So you can see there's a terrace here. It goes up like that they should have kept this terrace going all the way across i don't know why they didn't they just decided not to um but what we're going to do is to stop this because that's that's the closest spot to the road take this dirt and build a berm here to at least slow the water down i think it's going to take a lot more than some dump trailers where if the dirt to really fix this thing but we're going to try to put a band-aid on it for today let the next owners hey by the way if you don't order some dirt you, you might not have a road i'm just trying to look out for the next guy who has this spot and hopefully you know, he don't come down here and he don't have a road. So we're gonna do what we can today. And uh, like I said, this camera's already overheating. So you just have to watch it on GoPro, stay tuned. All righty. Well, I set the camera up. I don't know how long it'll last. There's a, watch out. So sorry if that last clip didn't come out. I mean, nothing crazy happened. I just smoothed out a nice ass road, that's all.
Well, that's your berm. Eh, not my best work, I'll be honest. I mean, it's a deep, the depth, I mean, that's two foot. So, I mean, it's, I couldn't get on that side to pack it because, you know, I'd fall in Narnia. But what it, it'll at least do is the rain that comes down here, it's going to go like this. And I built a little high spot here, so it should maybe pull up, and it's, then it's going to rip around. So, I mean, it'll at least stop that. That's the corner. That's the problem. Lucy, why do you got to walk like that? That's the problem child right there, the corner. Yeah, the one loose it because that's where the water hit. So I, I at least stopped that. Should divert the water to go here. Now we just got to do that again like seven more times. But again, like I said, today's not the day. We need to get big equipment for that if we're really, really, really going to do it. Um, at least get the tooth bucket. If I had the tooth bucket, I could probably rob some more dirt. Anyways, enough of that. We're going to head up. I'm going to finish the road that I started on. I'm not even going to show you guys on the big camera. The camera just dies. It's freaking too hot out here. And then I'll show you the Harley rake and the Packer. Stay tuned. Shit, yeah, look at this bad boy. So this is a, I call them a Harley rake. I don't know if they're soil conditioners. Basically that thing, it's got a bunch of nipples on it and it spins real quick. That's basically what we're after. But how's that going? She's stuck. Red. No, they just shove her on there. Oh, that one. Try that guy. Yep. There it goes. Ah, you're in. It's gotta be a little mean, dude. That's it. it, you gotta show her who's bot. All right, you wanna run this sucker? Sure. Let's see it. Oh, this is quick attach. I got, that's what a lot of my other stuff is. So if I like this, maybe I'll buy one. Have you ever ran something with the flow on it or? So. Okay, so it's just your, uh, if you jump in, I'll show you. It's just your, uh, yeah, that little wheel. Don't do not do it yet because you're on the gravel, but this wheel on that, see that wheel? This, uh, no, yeah, that, that's a wheel. It rolls, you roll your thumb back and forth. Okay. And so go ahead and pick it up a little bit just so you don't shoot rocks. Okay, now push the wheel forward, hold, like, hold it forward. It's either forward or back or both. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, does it go forward and back? It goes both. Oh, what? <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. Look at that sucker. So go, go ahead and crank it up. Your, crank your throttle up all the way. And then I want to see how fast it goes. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Sheesh, she's ready. All right. I want to see. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious what it will do on this trail. Okay. Because it's not enough for me to come low dirt, but it's not super smooth but it doesn't have a huge crown to where i think we might be able to just a soil condition up until we hit the mud because what i spread earlier was mud yeah. and i'm guessing that won't do good yeah. so once you maybe get past that gravel right here just tear it up. Throw, throw it down and just start going i've seen people go forward and i've seen people go back okay. i don't know what will we'll you're just gonna have to see but i want i'm curious if how it does so all right I'll, I'll, we're gonna follow nate around we'll see we'll see how this goes and pop beefcake's driving the robot still i want to I want to take a turn driving that sucker. I don't know if that thing packs any better than my skid loader. I highly doubt it. That thing does not weigh 10,000 pounds, but it was cool and it'll be fun to run. It's like Macy and Brooklyn are out here enjoying a picnic with our dog. You like the dogs? Millie's about having a heart attack out here. So freaking hot. Let's say, hi buddy. You having fun? No, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to give them a bath, I think. I don't know if there's any, yeah, Lucy, Lucy. 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 Oh, enjoying the picnic. All right, let's go. We're gonna go back to get back to work here. We're gonna see if this thing can do can do what I need it to do. It's supposed to be good for gravel too. It's just supposed to just level everything. But like I said, this one doesn't have the. There's a supposed. No, I wouldn't say it's supposed to. A lot of them have a blade on it, so it, it'll kind of churn it up and like flatten it out at the same time. If that makes sense. This one doesn't. So, Lucy, hey, come here. Here, go lay down. Go a little. Go a little further. Go to that corner where it's tore up down there. Okay. Try that. Yeah, he could have done that. I just didn't want him to tear. There's a lot of, look at that nice grass. I ain't trying to ruin that grass. It's harder than hell to grow grass out here anyways. Yeah, you're good. Give her hell. Oh, he's got, crank your throttle. Throttle. Crank your throttle all, all the way. There you go. Now just lower that thing all the way down. That's as low as it goes. Is that as low as it goes? Yeah. Wait, what? There you go. There you go. Now you're good. Oh god, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rocks in my eyes. Oh guys, I feel like we're just I feel like we're just tearing it up. Not too sure about this thing. Uh -oh. That didn't do. That didn't do nothing but tear it up. There ain't nothing smoothing about it. 
I don't know if it's got the juice. Maybe he needs to try going backwards? if this thing sucks or what the deal is but that didn't that ain't smoothing much out i'll be honest yeah well, we're gonna have to come back we're gonna have to come back with the bucket and fix what we just did right here i'm sure we're just using it wrong i don't know i've never used one I, i've watched some youtube videos though maybe we need to, need to keep keep working He's going backwards now maybe that's the trap. that was better oh hang on land down rip I think I think the thing's Winnie Hut Jr. I, I might have to get in this sucker and see what she's made of, but so far it ain't looking good. All right, Papa's gonna give her a try here. This is a little R2-D2, it looks like Wally or something. So we're not, we, we haven't, we didn't decide if it, we like it better than the skid, but it was worth the try. I mean, now at least we know it's a thing. You can, you can, you can rent it. And it's got a vibrating thing, so it'll, this it'll, it'll, pa it'll pack it. Yeah, this, now we've got it all tore up. So, all right, how do you drive this sucker? So lights on, uh, this, this basically kills it. Okay. So turn, turn that on, the screen lights on, the glow plugs heating up because it's diesel. Now okay. yellow is flashing, that's good. So that starts it. It's on high automatically. There's a low, but it's on high for practical purposes. And then uh, if you get, I told you that, if you get much closer than this, it'll, it'll it stop. Stops. And if you turn this way, it's gonna stop on you. It's, it's smart. So just forward.
I feel like, I guess I think the skid might be a little better, but this is more fun than the skid. I wish my skid loader was remote control. I think it's sitting in the AC. It's cool, but I will say, if you have a skid loader, I think it does just as good, if not better, as far as packing-wise goes. I don't know, you can tell me. What do you think, that little sheep's foot deal? I don't know what that sucker weighs. Maybe a couple thousand pounds. The skid loader weighs 10,000. Pretty tough to beat, so it may have not been worth the rental. I don't know what we paid for, but it was fun. I like driving that little sucker. I can definitely see there being some uses for it, but like I said, with the skid loader, not sure if it's necessary. So anyways, I'm gonna head down, to, I got the, Harley rake now. I'm gonna head down to the cabin, the off off grid cabin. If you guys haven't seen that, stay tuned. And there's some washouts there that I think I think I could smooth up with this. But I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to come back with the flat bucket, smooth and kind of pack pack everything. This is just good for disturbing the soil, kind of get it all even. Then use the bucket to flatten it, smooth it, and then the tracks to pack it. That's at least the plan. So we'll see you guys at the cabin. Shoo! All right, well, we're done. The off-grid cabin. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the off-grid cabin. Now you do. Uh, so, hey, uh, so uh, wow, the pond looks like absolute ass. Why? Well, it's a duck. That's a wood duck. Look at the wood duck. They never come here during season. All right. So that, there's your problem. You see that road? Yeah. There's a lot of washouts. A lot of it just runs, runs, runs. The grass actually, we got the grass going pretty good. We need to come back and uh, overseed this just to fill some of these gaps. But, See, I, I know camera's always deceiving. That's a, I mean, that's deep. It's about a foot and a half. That's a, I don't know if this thing can handle what this has in store. But although I love, I love this nice ass grass that's coming in, some nice grass. I'm gonna try to take this thing and I wanna smooth this thing, pack it in, and then we need, just need to put a silt sock, uh, which slow, basically it's like a little portable terrace, uh, so, sort of. And that'll slow the water down. We need to put one across here. But like I said, I feel bad because this is some nice grass we planted last year. Spent a lot of money planting grass or seeding. And then grass coming up but that's all i got this thing for was just this area here it's so that's almost undrivable you see you can drive there and we have been but eventually that'll wash out so i'm gonna do what i can try to take care of this i don't know if it'll work or not but you guys stay tuned all right ladies and gentlemen let's get to soil conditioning i'm i'll be honest i don't know if i'm a fan of this thing i feel like i don't know how to use it but i'm really glad i didn't buy one because i don't know how to use it all right, so we're just gonna try, just try doing one of these. Give her, back her down, spin her. Sounds like I'm doing something. I don't know what. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I mean, I think it's working.
don't know what the AC weighs, but it's it's worth its weight in gold for sure. You guys keep overheating, damn it. Well, I got her done. There's a few whoopies in there. I couldn't quite figure out how to get them out. It just, it's, it looks nice though, doesn't it? It looks like a nice road. It's good enough. We got, we'll come seed and straw it maybe later this week once we get a little bit of rain coming. I don't wanna, I don't wanna seed it now because I ain't gonna do much when it's hotter than hell. Uh, I need a little bit of moisture, but this soil actually seems pretty nice. So I went in and I smoothed it and packed it as good as I could. Um, honestly, those little whoopies might help with the drainage. Like I said, we really need to take a silt sock and put it about not quite at the top maybe a little ways down before that water really gains some some momentum but i mean i smoothed it up it's good enough throw some we need to throw some seed on it we need to come mow around this little cabin it's getting pretty tall but seed and straw this bad boy i would say the harley rake out of 10 7 it works it's good i'm not that great with it uh, if i was really good with it i'd maybe rank it a 10. i i do think it's important to have those blades though there's there's blades that stick out on the side and will help push that dirt because if I had that, it would push the loose dirt into those little whoopies and it would be smooth. So I think if I do buy one, I need to make sure it has that. That's why you rent before you buy, folks. That's usually saves my ass. Um, but anyways, you can tell the ruts aren't there. It's smooth as a baby's butt. Uh, but the boys are, uh, they're, they uh, stayed up. They're putting in another drain with some corrugated pipes. I'm gonna go check on that and help them out with that and then we'll be done for the day. I mean, it's 
That was three o'clock. That was only not even three hours, two and a half hours. She got a lot of work done. So see you guys up at the house. Shoo! All right. Well, the skid litter's leaking hydraulic fluid everywhere. So, rip. Things always breaking. I swear. Uh, Nate's getting practice with the old mini right now. He's getting that trench dug. I'm not going to show you guys this. If you guys want to see us lay pipe, I have a whole video of laying pipe on the other side. The reason why we're laying more pipe is because water drains from here and can't make it to our other drain. We made that drain for that water. I didn't realize how much rainwater this collected. So we're putting in a second drain and not a big deal. We had the pipe already. We have the, the top part. Like I said, it's literally going to be the same thing. We're just going to trench it and uh, smooth it all up. Hopefully make the lowest side where that drain is. Run the pipe out the end. We've already done it one time. I'm just going to do another. I don't want to bore you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I guess I'll take the skill loader into the shop i've been taking it's this thing sucked i don't know if it's me or just i got a bad skid loader i think it's 200 hours on it i bet i got 10 g's into just bullshit repairs not even like not even neglect like just oh this thing's just pissing hydraulic fluid for the ninth time and i don't know why so take it in and they check on it and they do this and I, I mean i've definitely done stuff that's like i broke a hydraulic line i'm not talking about that i'm talking about just this thing just sucks i, I guess i don't know if it's me or it's just the, that's just how machinery is. But literally, I took it to the shop last week. They're like, I'm like, hey, fix all the codes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned it on when I got home, threw six codes, and now it's leaking hydraulic oil everywhere. I mean, drip, 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 drip. So, fun times on an equipment. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed today's video of us Harley raking and re remote control packing and getting the, the whole trail looks good now. I think it's, it's good now. We just need to get, we gotta get some seed and straw and wait for a little bit of rain. So, anyways, we'll catch you on the next one and peace.